The following is a paid advertisement for the GT Express 101, brought to you by GT Merchandising and Licensing. Wouldn't it be great to be able to have a hot grilled sandwich, a healthy filling breakfast, a flavor-packed hearty dinner, and even a piping hot chocolate souffle with a melted chocolate center, all at home in less than seven minutes. There's now an ingenious new appliance that makes fast food fabulous food. Presenting the Express 101. When someone wants a pizza burger, when it's time to impress unexpected company with quick quiches, and when you want a fast, simple, tasty meal, they can all now be made simply and easily in minutes. It's all possible thanks to the Express 101's ability to heat the bottom and the top of your food in its closed cooking chamber, giving you the toasted, grilled outside texture we all love sinking our teeth into with favorites like calzones, ham and cheese roll-ups, corn dogs, and turkey wraps. The Express 101's cooking chamber also is great for fast baking. Apple pies, three cheese souffles, fruit-filled crepes, blueberry muffins, and pizza pies. The patent-pending Express 101 will never leave your countertop. In fact, it's so versatile, the Express 101 can easily make 101 fantastic quick meals. You can now have a healthy, satisfying, delicious meal in minutes. Let's now join Joe Farrago to discover the new, amazing Express 101. Like all of you, I have a pretty hectic schedule, but wouldn't we all like to cut down on our tendency to grab a not so healthy snack or run down to the local fast food chain whenever we needed to get a quick bite? Well, we have someone with us who promises she has an easy way to turn our bad eating habits around. Let's see what Kathy Mitchell has discovered. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Oh, I'm good. So great to see you. What do you have for us well, today? Let me tease your taste buds for a second right. here. How about this great looking omelet for breakfast? Ooh, omelets are great. No folding, no fuss. Take a look at lunch. How about a great wrap? Wraps are really popular today. They are, and mm -hmm. so good. Dinner? Stuffed chicken and potatoes. Stuffed, wait a minute, this doesn't look like fast food to me, Kathy. <laughs> well, not if your idea of fast food is overpriced food you eat in your car. Take a look at this chocolate ooh, cake. Ooh. Wait till you see how easy and fast this is to make an even cherry pie. And best of all, these were all made with one machine. Well, this I want to see. Where is it? Well, come on. Joe, this is the Express 101. This is a result of five years of development to make a machine that was lightweight, compact, versatile, easy for everyone to use, and cooks food like nothing you have ever seen. But I know seeing is believing, so let's get cooking. Okay. We'll start with an omelet. I've got three eggs in here. I'm gonna add one cup of hash browns. And by the way, all these recipes are in the cookbook. A little bit of ham. Sure, that's great. Some diced peppers. Very colorful. A little yeah. bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know with those hash browns in there, a lot of people that are watching their carbs are going, oh, well, I can't eat that. So I'm going to show you a really great carb watcher's breakfast as well. But let's get this in the first half here. So you just kind of scoop it out into the, into the into well, the, you call the well. it right just there? Just pop uh -huh. it right in there. Mm -hmm. All right, now for our uh, carb watcher's breakfast. I can smell it cooking already. <laughs> I'm just going to put in the beaten eggs, okay. sausage, oh, throw ham, it in there. I the love sky's that. the limit. You want some peppers, mm -hmm. you want some mushrooms, and some cheese. Just toss in whatever you like. Mm -hmm. All right, now you were talking about fast food. I think you'll right. recognize this breakfast. <laughs> These are just packaged biscuits, and I'm just kind of flattening it out so it'll fit right in the bottom. Now I'm okay. going to crack a whole egg. All right. And some bacon. This is that pre-cooked bacon, and oh, all you have to great. do is brown it up. It works great for these mm -hmm. kind of things. It's so fast and so easy. Now, on the other side, I'm going to make the commuter version of this same breakfast. So again, <laughs> I'm going to start with that biscuit. And I've got a guy that's watching his cholesterol, so I use the egg substitute. He doesn't uh -huh. even know. <laughs> Bless light, you for that. <laughs> yes. A little bit of light cheese, and instead of the regular bacon, how about a slice of Canadian bacon? Right, it's got less fat in it. There's no watching, there's no turning, so I can do whatever I want to do while breakfast cooks, and when I come in, it's ready to go. But come on, I've still got lots more to show you. <laughs> okay. Can you tell me if there's a kid in the world that doesn't love corn dogs? Everybody loves corn All dogs. Right. But you either buy them frozen or you wait till you go to the fair. Watch right. how easy. This is just a cornbread mix that I've mixed up, and I'm just going to put right in the well there. Okay. And okay. then all we need to do is pop in a hot dog, <laughs> any right. kind of hot dog you want. Now, mm. these are the hottest thing going right now, right. so watch how easy it is to make a wrap. I've got a flour tortilla here, and mm -hmm. I'm going to add just a little bit of ranch dressing. Now, you know you can buy these tortillas in the low-carb variety, too, so this is a great low-carb lunch. stick with that diet exactly we were talking Exactly right. About. I'm going to put some spinach leaves on here. I've got some turkey here. Okay, right out of the fridge. Right out of the fridge, exactly. 
some of that pre-cooked bacon. This is a spicy jack, and that'll give it a really nice flavor. Ooh. Just fold in the sides mm -hmm. and give it a roll. The neatness does not count here. <laughs> Perfect. Good that's thing just right for, for me, me, huh? <laughs> and that's all you gotta do and pop it in there. Now that looks kind of big, right. but you'll see there's extra room up in the top. So when you push it down, it'll close up and it'll form right in there. So it doesn't everything doesn't have to be round. All right, now, how about this? You like pita bread? It's so versatile. Pizza crust is just kind of like pita bread, right? I've got a half a pita, a little bit of pizza sauce, pepperoni, every kid's uh, favorite. Pepper, that's a nice, I that's love a right. pepperoni. You like some green pepper, mm -hmm. a little mushroom, a little mozzarella, stuff it full. They don't have this at a fast food that's place. That's right, and I'm just gonna lay that in there. Now, if you wanna get a little fancy, I've got mm -hmm. some feta cheese, some artichokes, Greek olives, tomatoes, anything goes. If you've got tortillas or pitas or bagels mm -hmm. or anything, just fill it up, pop it in there, and this is gonna toast it, and it's so fast and so easy. There's not another machine that'll do it like that. It all smells so delicious, too. I can smell oh, it all I know. cooking after we've got everything going but right here. But hold on here. your taste buds, I've still got dinner to... You've heard of stuffed turkey. Yeah. What comes to mind when I say stuffed soup? I've never gotten stuffed eating soup before. I know, it's not a real satisfying food, but watch <laughs> what we're gonna do with just adding the addition of one more ingredient you can find right in your cupboard, a little stuffing ah. in that soup. So I've got a can of chicken corn chowder okay. and some stuffing. And I'm Use any kind of soup together. I want. Any kind of soup you want. This is kind of a one dish meal and it is so warm and satisfying mm. and filling. All you have to do now is just load it into the wells. You put it in the center right there and it falls to either it side. fall to the sides, whatever. And don't be afraid of stuffing it really, really full because you know we've got that nice deep well top and bottom. All these recipes are in the cookbook, but you can see once you get started, it'll just make you think of more and more things that you can do. Okay, stuffed soup. Now let's make some tostada bowls. Okay. All I've got here is a flour tortilla, and I'm just gonna put in some refried beans. Okay. How about some uh, some ground beef? This is cooked ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and load that up in the middle. Mm. Now watch this. I'm just gonna drop them right into the wells here. You don't need to trim the food to fit. It just goes right in there just like that. It makes a little pocket makes in the well. It makes a little pocket, there. exactly. Uh -huh. right. And now I'm just just gonna add a little cheese on top, just like that. Joe, I know you love dessert, so Ooh, come on I'm a dessert over kind here. of guy. Yep, All right, yep. bake a whole cake. Right. What do you do with it? I eat the whole cake. That's exactly <laughs> right. Now all I've got here is just enough chocolate cake for two individual servings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it right into the wells there. All right, now some filling. Ooh. How about a candy bar treat inside? Just take your favorite small bite-sized candy bars and just drop it right there in the center. That cake's gonna rise and cook up over it. It'll leave you a filling inside just that like cake. That. America's favorite cookie? Oh yeah, look we at this. We call just... this cookies and cream cake at our house. Oh. Yum, look at that. And that'll cook up right around there. And in less than eight minutes, we'll have dessert. Okay. How do you heat a dinner roll? Well, you don't put them in the microwave. I learned that because exactly they come out right. really awful. But I can pop them in the Express 101, and in one minute, I have perfect dinner rolls, crusty on the outside, hot on the inside, just like they came out of a fresh bakery oven. Have you ever been the guy left in charge of the garlic bread? But you know, I hate that. It's either not done, overly done, Burnt, or exactly. I sit down to the dinner table and I think, the garlic bread. Now watch this, here's the trick. Because I put it together this way, now I've got garlic butter on the bottom and on the top at the same time. And you know the best part about it? Guaranteed not to burn. I can't mess up? <laughs> I promise you, you can't mess this up. Now, I know you don't need a recipe for garlic bread. Well. But <laughs> if you did, it's in the cookbook. 101 recipes, all so easy, anybody can make them. Over half of these recipes will cook in seven minutes or less. Seven minutes or less, that is fast. It is, and speaking of fast, let's check our breakfast. Okay. All right, now remember, this was our hash browns Ooh. in the omelet, and this is that meat lover's omelet. And I'm not gonna take them out, but I just want you to see that they don't stick, they'll lift out so easily. There's virtually no cleanup in here. Aren't those gorgeous? Wow. Easy and fast to make. Now, remember our biscuit sandwiches? Right, you put in those uncooked biscuits in the bottom. That's Ooh, right. look, look at those, look how they puffed up. Now, you're right, this one has a biscuit in the bottom with a whole egg. Go ahead and that plate right there. Okay, this this right is here? really plate food because remember, this has like a poached egg on the biscuit with the cheese and the bacon. But this one is the commuter sandwich. <laughs> so this is the one that you're gonna take in the car if you want to and eat right on your way to work. And this is the one that we made with the egg substitute that's here. Right. So it's and gonna that's be got a biscuit good and healthy. On the bottom. Oh yeah, isn't that beautiful? This is great. Mm. Isn't that good? 
Better than anything you got at a fast food restaurant and much healthier. I feel better already. All right, come on. I've got some lunch to show you here. Let me put down breakfast over here. All right, now remember in this one, this was our corn dog. Right, and it just kind of rose up around the hot dog in the middle? Exactly. I told you it was still in there, though, and let's take a look. Woo, hot. I don't want to spoil the look of the corn dog, but I'll just cut off a little end so you can see that that hot dog is right in the center. Look at that. And you can see the cornbread is perfectly done. Kids absolutely love it. Now, this is our wrap. And remember, this was the flour tortilla with the turkey and bacon and spinach inside. Mm. Oh, oh, look at that. Isn't that great? See how the cheese is all melted? Now, how about over here? Because this is our pita bread. Now, if you remember, this one was the pita pizza. And here you see our pepperoni oh, and our yeah. cheese is all melty inside there. Oh, I love that crusty cheese right on the outside, well, too. Just exactly like a crispy, thin pizza crust. It's wonderful. My kids love them. And over here, for the more adult tastes, uh -huh. the feta cheese and the artichokes, just delicious. And again, you can see there's virtually no cleanup. The machine, just wipe it out with a damp cloth or a sponge, and it's clean and ready to put away. You oh. ready to check on dinner? Now, do you remember what's in here? Stuffed soup. <laughs> Take wow. a look. It, I have to say, it looks beautiful right off the bat. Like here. no soup you, you ever saw before. And watch how easy it comes out. Just look like at that. that. You just took a can of soup and some stuffing. This is the chicken, the vegetables, the gravy, the stuffing, all in one bite. And I know it's hot, but oh, they tell me you have an iron mouth. One. Are you ready? It's crunchy on the outside. Yeah. Soft like stuffing on the inside. It's, it's got a great flavor. It does. It's wonderful. My family just loves it, and it's so fast and wow. so easy to make. Wow, a new experience for All me. Right. Stuffed soup. Stuffed soup. Now, here, these are our tostada bowls, mm -hmm. right? And again, look how easy they lift out. And these are just stuffed, Ooh, hot, <laughs> with, with uh, cheese and beans and meat. Don't those look good? And look how beautiful that oh, looks. Oh, that's beautiful. Use what you've got. Okay, Kath, how about dessert? I'm going to teach you for just a minute longer, because remember that garlic bread? Look at Take that. Take a look. And remember, there's four slices in there, so one. Then you just flip that other one over. Two, three, and four, and oh. not burnt. You know, I said, let's go to dessert. I did forget about the garlic bread. Right. Okay, now how about dessert? <laughs> now how about dessert. Okay. okay. Remember what we've got in here, chocolate cake. This is what you put the little tiny candy bar that's in the center right. of well, over here. You can see it's kind of oozing out there a little bit, but that's what makes it good. A little surprise in the middle. A little Look surprise center. And this is our Oreo cookies. That's the one you crumble the cookies up in. Oh, Isn't that delicious? Kathy, this looks terrific. Oh, and remember, this baked in less than eight minutes. Right. And it's perfectly done. And oh, look at that ooey gooey surprise inside. Oh, it cooked up these foods beautifully with things we just had around the house. This is really remarkable. That's why I worked on it for five years, because I wanted the Express 101 to be perfect before we released it to the public. And now everybody can get one. All right. Well, with that said, just listen to this exclusive offer, and you can be one of the first in your area to order one of these fantastic new appliances. And I'm going to have some dessert. Can I have a little? <laughs> sure. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> All you have to do is just mix it up, put it in the little pockets, close it, you're cooking. The Express makes it really easy to improvise because you just can mix everything together and as long as the ingredients sound good to you, it's going to come out great and it's extremely easy to clean up. And the cooking time is comparable even to a microwave. I just plugged it in and used it. And that's all I had to do. It was really easy. Express yourself with fast, healthy food. Introducing the new GT Express 101, destined to be one of the most used kitchen appliances ever. With the Express 101, you'll be able to make fast, fabulous meals with little effort. How about a stuffed chicken dinner for two, ready in 15 minutes? Do the kids want a quick snack? They can have a pizza burrito in seven minutes. When everyone's rushing at breakfast, a five minute French toast and ham wrap can save the day. Have you ever waited in a restaurant for a 20 minute souffle? Now you can have one in seven minutes, complete with a hot liquid chocolate center. All these incredible foods and lots more are possible thanks to the Express 101's dual cooking chamber. Your food is heated at the top and the bottom of the chamber for quick, efficient cooking. For foods that rise during cooking, the Express 101 has a floating hinge, so the top hot cooking surface stays in touch with the food through the whole process. Whenever you want to throw together a quick snack, whenever you need to make a quick, full meal, and whenever you have to come up with a fast, satisfying breakfast, you'll always have a way to do it with the Express 101. When you order, you'll receive the patent-pending Express 101 with its special dual cooking chamber. You'll also receive 101 easy recipes. They include all of Kathy's recipes you've seen on this program, plus lots more. 
dinner recipes like beef and asparagus roll-ups and stuffed chicken. Lunch favorites, including vegetarian pizza and corn dogs. Breakfast delights, such as French toast and ham. And pastry favorites, like fresh fruit-filled angel food cake and blueberry muffins. Both the Express 101 and the recipe book are available for just $59.95. And when you order your Express 101, you'll receive the following bonus. The Handy Express Spatula, specially formed so you can easily lift cooked foods out of your Express 101. You'll also receive the Handy Express Mixer. Thanks to its unique mixing blades, the Express Mixer is perfect for mixing cake mixes, egg batters, and pancake mixes. Just add the ingredients, Insert the blades, give it a few shakes, and you have a perfectly mixed batter exactly pre-measured for the Express 101's cooking chamber. The Express Mixer and the Express Spatula are included for the same low price of $59.95. And if you order now, if you're one of the first 500 to order, we'll deduct $10 from the price, so you'll receive the total Express package for only $49.95 you're saving over $20, but you must order now. It couldn't be easier to order. Just call the toll-free number on the screen and use your credit card to order your Express 101. If you prefer, send a check or money order for the full amount plus any applicable tax to the address on the screen. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not totally satisfied, just send it back and you'll be refunded the purchase price minus shipping and handling. The Express 101 is not available in stores. Finally, fast food can now be fabulous food, thanks to one of the greatest countertop kitchen appliances ever invented. Order your Express 101 now. It says there are recipes for entrees for two, chicken, beef, fish. Absolutely, take a look at this. What I've got is a boneless, skinless chicken breast that I slid open, and I've just put a little packaged stuffing mix in it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna roll it in these stuffing crumbs. And now we'll just put it right in there. Okay. And remember, because this heats from the top and the bottom, it cooks everything perfectly. You know if you're on that low-carb diet, you can have beef. So I've got a beautiful cut of beef here. I'm gonna just sprinkle it with a little bit of seasoning. Mm -hmm. And this is a mixture of garlic and butter and Parmesan cheese. Lots of meat, just a few vegetables. So we got a little bit of asparagus here. Okay, we got And I'm gonna green. go ahead and roll it up. And again, we're gonna pop it right in that well, right next to the chicken. So oh, you see, you can make two totally different meals at the same time. I can hear that too, just sizzling away. And that'll cook in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much meat you're putting in. And those are big size portions. Let's see what we've got here, because they challenged me to make something with some leftovers. Steak, a little baked potato, a few sauteed mushrooms. <laughs> right. The Mexican food, a little chicken, some rice and beans. <laughs> how about this? Oh. Leftover meatloaf. Meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. First of all, let's take this guy. Breakfast for two out of the leftovers from last night's dinner. I'm just gonna slice that steak up kind of thin. Yum. This is okay. one of our all-in-one meals. Use what you've got. You've got those leftovers, you might as well use them up. We're just gonna throw that in there. Okay. Let's throw in some meat in each side. Mushrooms, potatoes. This it's is something great, you don't it? get in the microwave, that's for sure. And now I've got three beaten eggs that I'm just gonna split between the two wells. So steak, eggs, and potatoes Steak, for eggs, and potatoes, and you want a little cheese on that? Sure, why not? And this is all gonna fluff up like oh, an omelet. Just like a beautiful omelet in just a few minutes. All right, how about a wrap? We've got a, a flour tortilla here. Let's uh, spread on some of those beans. Okay. Let's use up that rice, mm -hmm. a little bit of chicken, and a good old slice of cheese here. Just great. Ooh. Okay, so we'll just fold in those ends and roll it up. Then we'll just pop that in there, Ooh, just like okay. that. Okay. Now, how about that meatloaf sandwich? Oh, yeah. Well, I've got some French bread here. Mm -hmm. We'll spread that right on the top, butter okay, side so down. Butter side down, all right. right. There. Then we just toss that piece of meatloaf on there and our other piece of bread. Okay, because again, that heating element in the top and the bottom. And now it's just gonna cook all by itself. Now come on, because I have something really interesting to show you. Okay. This is where you use what you've got. I've got some leftover ground beef seasoned up with a little bit of taco seasoning. Okay. And I'm gonna add some cheese on this mm -hmm. side. Now this side, for our vegetarian friends, I'm just gonna make a vegetarian one. This could be kind of like a quiche almost. And now this is my mixture. It's one cup of milk, uh -huh. a half a cup of biscuit, and one egg. And you know, if you're on one of those low-carb diets, you can use one of those low-carb baking mixes and do the same thing. Then you can keep any leftover batter right in the refrigerator so you can do it again later. Perfect. I have discovered the easiest way to get kids downstairs in the morning is oh. the smell of cinnamon rolls. But 
if you have to heat the oven to 400 degrees and then bake them for 14 to 16 minutes, who's got time? So watch how easy. I'm just gonna take four of them and lay them right in the wells like this. Okay. Come on over here, because I still have one more great dessert to show you. An angel food cake, for instance. One of my favorites because it's fat-free. Takes normally 45 minutes to an hour to bake. Right. Watch what I can do in seven minutes. I'm gonna add some strawberries and raspberries to it. It'll be like oh. a strawberry shortcake. And this recipe is in the cookbook again. This recipe again. is in the cookbook, and you see how easy it is. I'm just gonna give it a quick mix with my whisk here, and all I have to do now is divide this batter. Oh, doesn't it look, look good already? That. Okay, seven minutes. Enough time to show some of the other things we've been cooking? What do you say? Should we get to our entrees? All right, come on. Remember our stuffed beef um, and our chicken. And this is the one for the people who are on the carb watching diet. That's exactly right. Let's cut it open and see oh. how we did here. Look Perfect. at that. Isn't that it's gorgeous? Out of a gourmet magazine. Exactly. All right, now how about the chicken? Oh. oh, this is one of my favorites. My family loves this. Doesn't this look like something you could serve to company? Oh, absolutely. And I'm gonna cut it open because I want you to see this chicken cooks up so moist and so tender. It's got that line of stuffing inside. Oh. And this potato, the recipe in the cookbook tells uh -huh. you how to cook it right along with your meat in your machine if you're just cooking for one. Great, so this is stuffing, but you could do like a cordon bleu or something oh, like yeah, this, put sure. some ham, ham in it. Oh, yeah, sure, cheese inside, it'd be great, good. See, you're thinking already, use mm -hmm. what you got. They're getting better and better. <laughs> Company special, huh? Mm. Okay, now here's our leftovers. This was our leftover makeover. Right. This is our steak and potato omelet. That oh. was just a little piece of steak, a half a baked potato. What a hearty a... breakfast here, too, Isn't that you know? Beautiful? Steak, potato, and eggs for breakfast, and it's all in one transportable again, pouch, kind of. Look how easily it lifts out. A little damp cloth, no cleanup. And with just a little leftover food, look at the look size at of the Isn't servings you have. Yeah, this you, is can, you can easily serve two people an omelet a piece. Now, over here, the meatloaf sandwich and the wrap. Let me get a plate here. Now this was kind of that scrawny chicken that we had a couple of pieces of meat still on the bone. A little bit of chicken breast, right? Some cheese, some oh, beans, some rice. That is a stuffed burrito, and this might even be better the second time. And how about that meatloaf? You know, the hardest thing sometimes to get rid of is leftover meatloaf, but I think if you served it up like this, nobody would complain. Compare <laughs> this to throwing an old piece of meatloaf in the microwave and putting some toast on it. All right, well take a look at our impossible pie. Oh, look at those. Oh, look at this. You can see the steam coming off All the right. top of them. Now, this is the pizza. Right. And this was the vegetarian one. Yeah, something for everybody. Right. All right. How about our cinnamon rolls? Oh. Mm. Well, that get you downstairs in the morning. Instead of a 400 degree oven that you had to preheat and then bake for 14 to 18 minutes. These cooked in here in only about six minutes. And they're still just the little individual cinnamon rolls. And you don't oh. have to bake the whole batch. Now, if you wanted all eight of them, you know, just pop the other four in and they are still faster than doing it in the oven. Sure. Now, how about our angel food cake? Okay, let's check it out here. No, oh. look at that. <laughs> they look good. Now remember, this is not just angel food cake. This is strawberry shortcake. It's out of there. No fat. No fat at all. This is just a fast and incredibly easy fat-free dessert. Well, you know, when I was looking at that cookbook back there, I saw a recipe that I kind of wanted to try. Wonder if you could help me out with it. Let me give you the uh, place of honor here. Okay, this is the stuffed salmon. Pop this Pop open, it right? Pop right in. Okay, and I just kind of put the salmon in like this. You got it. Ooh, I can that hear it. I can hear it sizzling. Oh, yeah. You just tuck those little edges in. Okay, Perfect. so I can just take this rice. This is instant rice. Right. Just, okay, and the recipe said... Chicken broth. All right, right like that. Okay, there you okay. go. How about some vegetables in there? Just toss those, if I may. Oh, right please, please. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm cooking my first express meal. I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now that I've put my reputation on the line, let's hear what people out there think of the Express 101. I take something out of the Express any day because it, it, it's full in flavor and you can control the ingredients and control the fat and control the calories and control everything about it and you never have to leave the comfort of home. With the cooking on the top and the bottom, that with eggs, you didn't have to flip the eggs over. So when you made an egg over easy, it was just that and it wouldn't stick to the surface. I mixed up the batter and I poured it in the wells. Then I spooned in some pineapple in the center and closed it, timed it for nine minutes, voila. It's delicious with ice cream, with whipped cream. Introducing the new GT Express 101. You'll be able to make fast, fabulous meals with little effort. Do the kids want a quick snack? They can have a pizza burrito in seven minutes. When everyone's rushing at breakfast, a five-minute French toast and ham wrap can save the day. 
Have you ever waited in a restaurant for a 20-minute souffle? Now you can have one in seven minutes, complete with a hot liquid chocolate center. All these incredible foods are possible thanks to the Express 101's dual cooking chamber. Your food is heated at the top and the bottom of the chamber. For foods that rise during cooking, the Express 101 has a floating hinge, so the top hot cooking surface stays in touch with the food through the whole process. Whenever you want to throw together a quick snack, whenever you need to make a quick full meal, and whenever you have to come up with a fast, satisfying breakfast, you'll always have a way to do it with the Express 101. When you order, you'll receive the patent-pending Express 101. You'll also receive 101 easy recipes. They include all of Kathy's recipes you've seen on this program, plus lots more. Dinner recipes like apple stuffed pork chops, lunch favorites, including grilled Italian sandwiches, breakfast delights such as Western omelets, and pastry favorites like apple pie. Both the Express 101 and the recipe book are available for just $59.95. And when you order, you'll receive the following bonus, the Handy Express Spatula, so you can easily lift cooked foods out of your Express 101. You'll also receive the Handy Express Mixer. Thanks to its unique mixing blades, the Express Mixer is perfect for mixing cake mixes, egg batters, and pancake mixes. Just insert the blades, give it a few shakes, and you have a perfectly mixed batter exactly pre-measured for the Express 101's cooking chamber. The Express Mixer and the Express Spatula are included for the same low price of $59.95. And if you order now, if you're one of the first 500 to order, we'll deduct $10 from the price, so you'll receive the total Express package for only $49.95. You're saving over $20, but you must order now. Just call the toll-free number on the screen. If you prefer, send a check or money order for the full amount plus any applicable tax to the address on the screen. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not totally satisfied, just send it back and you'll be refunded the purchase price minus shipping and handling. Finally, one of the greatest countertop kitchen appliances ever invented. Order your Express 101 now. Okay, Kathy, are we ready? We're ready for All you. All right, let's show Express everybody. Express 101 debut, right? Oh, that looks beautiful. It smells great. Okay, now I'm just going to take this out like this. Right. And just Use put it on a special tool. Okay, this is my stuffed salmon. I'm just going to drop it in there. Right. Look and at Let me give that. you a hand with that rice okay, here. Okay, thanks. Here, I just love take the rice cooked this way. It's almost like yes. a pilaf. Yeah, and look at that. Broccoli popped right up on the top there. Isn't that there. beautiful? Well, and now that I cooked, too. you test. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Tell me how I did. Oh. Huh? Mm. The stuffing is really, really good. This was great. <laughs> Kathy, I have to tell you, I'm impressed with myself, but I'm also really impressed with the Express 101. Well, it's the Express 101's closed cooking chamber. It gives you the impressive stuffed chicken, beautifully browned wraps and roll-ups, and the ability to bake foods without having to heat up a great big oven. Plus, it was all cooked so fast. I've just had some of the tastiest food I've ever had, not from a gourmet restaurant, but from a simple, easy-to-use kitchen appliance. It took almost nothing to end up with all this great food. And don't forget all the great recipes you get with your Express 101. 101 to be exact. They're all very easy and can help make anyone an impressive cook. Kathy, I have to thank you again on behalf of all of us for sharing your secrets on the Express 101. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Proceeding was a paid advertisement for the GT Express 101, brought to you by GT Merchandising and Licensing.